The FBI said Donald Trump was the target of what appears to be an attempted assassination at his golf club in West Palm Beach, Florida, on Sunday. U.S. Secret Service agents opened fire after seeing a person with a firearm near Trump's West Palm Beach Golf Club in Florida while he was golfing. The suspect was identified as Ryan Wesley Routh, three law enforcement officials told Playful Parade. Routh appeared in federal court in Florida Monday and was charged with federal gun crimes. The suspect, records show Routh, 58, lived in North Carolina for most of his life before moving in 2018 to Kaawa, Hawaii where he and his son operated a company building sheds, according to an archived version of the webpage for the business. What happened? Routh was camped outside a golf course with food and a rifle for nearly 12 hours, lying in wait for the former president before a Secret Service agent thwarted the potential attack and opened fire, according to court documents filed Monday. What's next? Trump has not announced any changes to his schedule and is set to speak live on X on Monday night from his Mar-a-Lago resort to launch his son's crypto platform. President Joe Biden on Monday again decried the apparent assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump and said America must work to stop the scourge of political violence. America has suffered too many times the tragedy of an assassin's bullet, Biden said at the start of an address to the National HBCU Week Conference in Philadelphia. It solves nothing. It just tears the country apart. We must do everything we can to prevent it and never give it any oxygen. The president's comments came after Trump said without evidence that Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris inspired another apparent attempt on his life, deriding their criticism of him as a threat to democracy despite his own long history of inflammatory campaign rhetoric and advocacy for jailing or prosecuting his political enemies. Their rhetoric is causing me to be shot at, when I am the one who is going to save the country and they are the ones that are destroying the country. Both from the inside and out, Trump said in comments to Fox News Digital. Biden in his speech added that acting director Secret Service Ronald Rowe, Jr. was in Florida, assessing what happened and determining whether any further adjustments need to be made to ensure Trump's safety. Attorney General Merrick Garland says the Justice Department will work tirelessly to ensure accountability in the apparent assassination attempt of former President Donald Trump. Garland said in an emailed statement that the Justice Department will bring every available resource to bear in this investigation. We are grateful that the former president is safe, Garland said. Steve Whitkoff, Trump's golf partner on Sunday, says the former president's reaction to the apparent assassination attempt was courageous and stoic. The real estate investor said Monday in a post on the social platform X that Trump, his very close friend, was concerned about his friends first before thinking of himself, something Whitkoff said exemplified the truest example of leadership. Fox News host Sean Hannity, a close friend of the former president's, said on air Sunday that he had spoken with Trump and Whitkoff, who told him that Secret Service agents pounced on Trump and covered him to protect him. Ryan Wesley Routh briefly entered a Florida courtroom Monday morning for his initial appearance, wearing a dark blue jail jumpsuit and his arms and legs shackled. He sat quietly for about five minutes with no visible signs of nervousness before marshals led him back out to await his hearing. House Speaker Mike Johnson said the House will be demanding more Secret Service protection for Trump, saying he needs more attention than any other protectee. He's the most attacked. He's the most threatened, even probably more than when he was in the Oval Office, Johnson, Republican Louisiana, said on Fox & Friends. We are demanding in the House that he have every asset available. The Republican Speaker was on his way to visit Trump on Sunday when the former president was targeted while golfing. The suspect is now in custody. Johnson and his wife, Kelly, visited with Trump afterward for about three hours, and the speaker said he was in good spirits. The House's bipartisan task force on the July assassination attempt on Trump in Pennsylvania is monitoring the situation and has requested a briefing. Johnson said the panel was scheduled to hold a hearing later this month as it investigates the political violence. There's going to be reports and recommendations coming forward, and Congress will act swiftly, Johnson said. We need accountability. Johnson said he has no faith in Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. The House impeached Mayorkas earlier this year over the department's handling of immigration, but the Senate declined to consider the charges in a trial. In a Florida courtroom, the next case on the docket is Ralph. He's speaking with assistant public defender speaking Christy Militello, smiling as he talks. Routh is still shackled and clad in a blue jumpsuit. The White House responded to Elon Musk's post on the social platform X about presidential assassinations, 
which stirred outrage on social media. Violence should only be condemned, never encouraged or joked about, said spokesperson Andrew Bates in a statement on Monday. This rhetoric is irresponsible. Musk deleted his comment on Sunday, which he posted in the wake of a second alleged attempt on Donald Trump's life. He had written, no one is even trying to assassinate Biden slash Kamala. Well, one lesson I've learned is that just because I say something to a group and they laugh doesn't mean it's going to be all that hilarious as a post on X, Musk wrote later. Trump is blaming his political rival's rhetoric for Sunday's apparent attempt on his life. Trump said Monday in an interview with Fox News Digital that the accused gunman believed the rhetoric of Biden and Harris, and he acted on it. The former president went on to say, their rhetoric is causing me to be shot at, when I am the one who is going to save the country, and they are the ones that are destroying the country, both from the inside and out. The tone was different than the one Trump adopted immediately after the Pennsylvania assassination attempt in July, when he called for unity and a cooling of the campaign's tenor, including during his speech at the Republican National Convention. They use highly inflammatory language, Trump told Fox News Digital. I can use it too. Far better than they can, but I don't. Routh, the man accused of trying to shoot at Trump on Sunday, had expressed support for Trump online as recently as 2020. But in recent years, his posts suggest he soured on him, expressing support for Biden and Harris. Routh has had his first appearance in federal court. During an eight-minute hearing, prosecutors levied two charges against him. Possessing a firearm despite a prior felony conviction and possession of a firearm with an obliterated serial number. Officials said Routh could face up to 15 years in prison if convicted on the first charge, and a possible five-year sentence on the second charge. A bond hearing has been scheduled for September 23rd, and a probable cause hearing or arraignment has been set for September 30th, depending on whether the government secures an indictment on the charges. During the hearing, Routh gave routine information to court officials as to his work status and income. Speaking in a soft voice, he said that he was working and making around $3,000 a month, but has zero savings. Routh said that he has no real estate or assets, aside from two trucks worth about $1,000, both located in Hawaii. Routh also said that he has a 25-year-old son, whom he sometimes supports. Federal prosecutors' complaint against Routh has been filed in court. According to the complaint, cell phone records show that Routh was in the area of the golf course tree line for about 12 hours, from approximately 1.59 a.m. until 1.31 p.m. on Sunday. The license plate on the Nissan SUV in which Routh was stopped was registered to a 2012 Ford truck that has been reported stolen, according to authorities. According to court documents, Routh was stopped by officers about 45 minutes after he fled the golf course. Officials said that Routh answered in the affirmative when officers asked him if he knew why he was being stopped. The vehicle was stopped at about 2.14 p.m. on northbound Interstate 95 in Martin County, which neighbors Palm Beach County. Become a part of the playful parade community. Smash that like button, drop a comment, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Road to 10,000 subscribers.